I talked about the hand delay. I'm just seeing the, the mechanics of, of your hand path. I'm not a huge fan of down and then outward, right? So if we look like drew a line on the rubber, I don't want that hand to cross that line backwards. Okay, see how it does that? And again, I'm just extremely biased for this. I think that you kind of have multiple different checkpoints that you're trying to get to with your hand, which is obviously a lot of space to cover, which is now increasing the probability of not being on time with that hand in that slot, which I see as you come down a front foot strike, it just looks to me like you're not, you're not in the, in the, in the proper slot, which I'm going to show you in here in a bit, how it leads to an inefficient arm, uh, arm path. Okay. So now watch this clean up in your pull down. So you get way better sequencing with that hand. Okay. It still goes out a little bit, but you'll notice how you stick here and then it, it relatively stays in that kind of area rather than going backwards like we saw on the mound. Now what this allows you to do is as you come down a front foot strike, boom, you're up, right? So now you're inside 90. Now you get to pull that arm. Look how, I mean, this is crazy to me. Watch this drastic difference. Okay, let me, well, I'll have to zoom up here. So again, front foot strike, boom, inside 90, your freaking money bags there, right? Right. So now we get you after that. Now you're pulling the arm through with your pec, your lat, and you're maximizing extension and freaking acceleration. Now we take you on the mound, okay? Tardy to the slot, right? Now you get into this pattern of, ah, I'm late. Now I have to kind of rotate and lead and push right so you see that push this ball into release you're not you're not actively engaging your big muscle groups to pull the arm through and accelerate that hand and you also notice here this is the other breakdown i had with late hip rotation was that when you do come down a front foot strike notice the foot positioning right Bare, barely leaving the ground front foot strike pull downs you can see the whole foot. So we know in your pull down here that the hips are going into rotation on time. Okay. And your shoulder hasn't left posture, right? It hasn't early rotated. This is a better view for that too. So again, authentic separation is when we can rotate our hips on time and, and raise our hand on time so here we're just not seeing a ton of segmentation from the shoulder to that trail hip right so see how they're moving together now so the posture of your hips at this point should be when you're just coming down a front foot strike and that's why i believe that a lot of this too is a lack of hip internal rotation remember how i said that lead leg is pulling you into early internal rotation which simple terms kind of limits your striding ability which now your body is kind of confused so now everything's delayed right so again pushing into release limited separation from the uh from the late hip rotation